Back now with the breaking news update. Alec Murdoch sentenced to life in prison for murdering his wife and youngest son. A jury quickly found him guilty last night after a weeks long trial that unraveled dozens of lies and allegations of fraud. ABC's M. Wen reports. The once powerful former attorney in South Carolina's low country, Alec Murdoch, now a convicted killer. I'm innocent. I would never hurt my wife, Maggie and I would never hurt my son, Papa. Today, Judge Clifton Newman sentencing the 54-year-old for the murders of his wife, Maggie, and youngest son, Paul. Murder of your wife, Maggie Murdoch. I sentence you for a term of the rest of your natural life. For the murder of Paul Murdoch, I sentence you to prison for murdering him for the rest of your natural life. After six weeks and 75 witnesses, the jury took less than three hours to come back with a guilty verdict. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Murdoch appearing emotionless as he was convicted of all four counts, including possessing a weapon during a violent crime. His eldest son, Buster, putting his head in his hands. We will have a just result for Maggie and Paul. Uh, who, again, we cannot forget in all of this uh, case as long as it's gone on. One of the 12 jurors, Craig Moyer, revealing to ABC News the discussion in the room. Everybody was pretty much talking. And I don't know, about 45 minutes later, we, after all our deliberating, we figured it out. Moyer saying he was convinced by the video extracted from Paul's phone at the dog kennels, which investigators say was taken minutes before they were shot. Witnesses saying that was Alec Murdoch's voice, and after denying being there for months, Murdoch admitted on the stand he was there. There are other mysterious deaths linked to the Murdoch family. In one of them, the state says of the housekeeper in 2018, that investigation has been reopened. M. Wynn, ABC News, Walterboro.